Under the theme Youth, Faith and Vocational Discernment, the Ordinary General Assembly of the Synod of Bishops underway at the Vatican brings together representatives from all over the world, including the Middle East. On Thursday, October the 18th, Christian children from various schools recited the rosary in the Kong Cathedral of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem for unity and peace after the appeal of Pope Francis. The Sacred Family School of the Opera Don Guanella Congregation of the Servants of Charity does a good job with children and teenagers with physical and intellectual disabilities between the ages of 3 and 21. Almaha Cafe is a cafe in the artistic and cultural center of Nazareth that has given hope to people with Down syndrome. A thousand kilometers, 47 days, the stages of the pilgrimage of these Italian pilgrims on their way to Jerusalem. September and October, thousands of pilgrims visit the Holy Land daily. The biggest meeting point is the square of the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre. Starting from October the 3rd, the 15th Ordinary General Assembly of the Synod of Bishops is underway in the Vatican. The great meeting, organized by Pope Francis himself, has youth from all over the world as protagonists and brings together cardinals, patriarchs, bishops, religious and experts. Among those present in the Synod, fathers of the Eastern Churches and the Apostolic Administration of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem, His Excellency Bishop Pier Battista Pizzaballa. Days of sharing and listening, as Pope Francis explained, who then added, the task of the Synod is to make dreams sprout, to inspire prophecies and visions, to make hope flourish, to stimulate trust, to give a vision of the future full of the joy of the gospel to all young people, no one excluded. Consistency, sexuality, immigration, clericalism and family are some of the issues that were addressed. Throughout the course of the Synod, in some strenuous moments and other exciting moments, the Church has shown that it walks hand in hand with youth from all over the world, including the Middle East, where Christian communities suffer so much. Attualmente, voi come sapete che il Medio Oriente affronta tanti sfide anche nuove in questo. Currently, as you know, the Middle East faces many challenges, including the new challenges of the last decade. We suffered because of the wars in Syria, Iraq, Palestine, conflicts in Turkey, Israel, Egypt, and this has made us lose so many communities, but really a lot. It has also caused us to lose entire parishes and dioceses. E questo ci ha fatto perdere tante comunità, ma tante, ma anche ci ha fatto perdere parrocchie intere e diocesi. Among the issues that involve the youth from the five continents is the memory of priests and families who die defending the faith amid the religious persecutions in the Middle East. The youth of this region recalled the Lebanese Maronite Monsignor Tufik Buhadir. They want the church to know their problems and sufferings and want to be builders of peace. The Synod concludes with the presentation of a final document. In any case, there are already initiatives aimed at the needs of youth like that of this bishop who spreads theology and faith via the internet. Youth asks questions and I answer. At the moment there are 16,700 Arab lay people. So far, I have been presented with 3,200 questions to which I gave 3,200 answers. At that point, I had an idea. Instead of spending all our time with questions and answers, why not do a study program? Some said yes, they showed interest. I contacted a university and we created this system. Everything started with youth, who walk hand in hand with the church. In response to the appeal of the Pontifical Foundation Aid to the Church in Need, the children of the Holy Land joined together with all the children of the world to recite the prayer of the Holy Rosary on Thursday, October 18th, in the context of the initiative One Million Children Pray the Rosary. A 
نحن كثير اليوم مبسوطين وشجعنا الطلاب كثير على تلاوة المسبحة مع مليون طفل بالعالم. We are happy today. We have encouraged the pupils to pray the rosary together with the million children all over the world. I think the purpose is clear. The Pope's message from Rome is for unity and for peace. Peace in our homes, in our hearts, in our societies and in our world. And we also need unity. The Jerusalem school pupils, including the Terra Sancta School, Schmidt, Collège de Frères, the Rosary School and Our Lady of the Pillar, met in the Con Cathedral of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem to recite the Holy Rosary. Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the Kingdom of Heaven belongs to such as these. An atmosphere of prayer and faith while the children recited the Rosary under the direction of Sister Virginie Habib of the Office for Christian Education of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem. All 230 children who attended the event received a rosary as a gift during their prayer. We have come here today to pray the rosary so that Jesus remains on our side. We have come to pray to our Lord with the hope that he will let peace and unity into our hearts. We have come to church today to pray to Jesus so that peace can prevail and the world unite. I pray the rosary so that Jesus may stay with me, bless and protect me. A window on the world that opens through the computer screen. With every step there is progress. In every melody, the welcome that blossoms from charity. More than offering a teaching structure, the Sacred Family School gives a heartfelt welcome to the Arab children and teenagers with physical and intellectual disabilities between the ages of 3 and 21 from the city of Nazareth and its surroundings, as well as supporting their families. In this holy land, through our service, our daily life with these children and people, we want to show and live the beauty of Christianity together. It's important, especially in a context where our children and families are both Muslims and Christians, in cooperation with the Israeli ministry. The child is always the center, the person, not disability or limitation, but the person. The Institute belongs to the Servants of Charity, a congregation founded by St. Luigi Guanella, who during a trip to the Holy Land in 1902, expressed the desire to found a social work in the land of Jesus. Years later, in 1975, the first religious Guanellian Father Ugo Sansi began the work, which today has a large number of activities for almost 200 students. Physiotherapy, sports, psychomotor, psychology, social assistance, computer technology, music. I was born in Nazareth and I'm a second year student of the industrial system. Are you happy at school? Yes, at school I get along with everyone. Who do you like at school? I like the principal, my classmates, everyone. What do you want to do at school? What do you like to do best? I always like to come to school. Which subjects do you like to study? Arithmetic and English. What do you like best at school? What do you learn? I open the books and I really like to learn arithmetic and Arabic. What else? I also like doing sports and dancing. How do you help at school? I try to be useful to everyone at school, especially to my classmate Laila. Words that motivate the work that is carried out here by priests and professionals. Our goal is to provide an independent way of life for each of our students, so that they can develop their potential even more so if they have intellectual or physical abilities that put them to the test. 
It is important that the student is able to choose what he wants. And even more so, in the case of a child with special needs, because it is certain that society would not give him everything he wants. In conclusion, our role is to help the child choose and defend himself. Maha Suleiman, owner of Al Maha Cafe in the artistic and cultural center of Nazareth, is an angel of mercy who has decided to open a window into the life of Mario and Samar, both suffering from Down syndrome. Accepting the differences and seeing this genetic condition differently, like a love syndrome. I am madly in love with him. Samar is the very best person I've ever met. She's a very good girl, kind and pretty. I loved her from the first glance. A local society that does not easily accept the differences but for Mario and Samar in the artistic and cultural atmosphere of the cafe, an innocent love story was born. During musical evenings, love dominated the heart of Mario who fell in love with Samar. It is not a novel, but a true, honest, spontaneous and pure story. He is the sweetest angel of my life. Serving drinks to the cafe customers, Mario and Samar show sincere smiles and kind attitudes. A success story of the likes which the cafe wants to show that kids with Down syndrome, like other people with special needs, have the ability to integrate with others if they are guided correctly. I would like to thank my parents who took care of me until I achieved this independence. I appreciate this idea and would like to thank them with all my heart. real immersion in today's reality, to be pilgrims, to follow Christ as an experience of reconciliation with God, with others, with creation and with oneself. These and many others are the sentiments that accompanied these Italian pilgrims on the journey. 1,000 kilometers in 47 days, Sergio and Orazio departed from Rome. Then they joined their lifelong companions, Domenico Maria Rosa, Silvio, Flora, Maria, Roberto and Battista. Together they repeated the experience of the first disciples who walked with Jesus and fed on his word. We are Christians, believers and apart from admiring our beautiful surroundings, at each stage we recited the rosary. Where we stopped, we read some pages of the Gospel. They departed from Acre to go to Nazareth. Then they went down transfigured from Mount Tabor. They retraced the places of the life of Jesus on the lake of Tiberias and then reached the oasis of Jericho. The difficulty and fatigue that they experienced with each step faded as they reached the final goal. They filled me with joy when they said, We will go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, Jerusalem. It is a feeling of joy because we are here where Christianity was born. I was very interested in making this journey through the Holy Land. It's the first time I come to live spirituality differently, 
to walk in the land where everything happened. In un territorio dove è successo tutto. An experience to be shared that leaves an indelible memory in the heart. We experienced hospitality and love. I understood what solidarity means upon people. This is something that I will not forget. Rather, it is something that will remain in my heart, which warms my heart. It is a very beautiful visit, different from the others, because we have never met so many people here in the Middle East like this time. The words of Father Ivo Müller, Commissioner of the Holy Land in Brazil, confirm what we have seen by visiting the holy places. Thousands of pilgrims arrive every day. The number of friars of the custody of the Holy Land has also increased, leading the moment of prayer in the procession of the Way of the Cross which every Friday follows the path Jesus walked with the cross towards Calvary. At the end of the prayer, pilgrims from all over the world gather in the square of the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre. I always tell the pilgrim groups that every time we come here, we go back home to Brazil or to our respective countries, different people. We will never again read the Bible as we read it before, we have the opportunity to visit these places. I, for one, experience something new each time, and we learn gradually, living the experience of God. One thing is the study of the Holy Land, of the Holy Scriptures. Another thing is to be at the site. And we are making this historical experience of finding ourselves here. It is certainly a privileged moment of study, but also a very profound experience of faith. It is the first time I come to the Holy Land, and I'm very happy, and I wish with all my heart that every human being could come here, could walk the land, and have this beautiful experience with God. Also Father Joao Lorenzo, who is a doctor in sacred scripture, a graduate in the Studium Biblicum Franciscanum of Jerusalem, recounts the experience he had here with the groups of pilgrims. Foi naturalmente uma experiência muito rica. It has been a very rich experience because understanding and being able to follow the scriptures in the place where it happened, where the biblical experience was born, where it was lived with all the testimonies of the historical, archaeological, geographical, and even with almost the same climatic references of what has been the world of the scriptures, is a very rich and really fantastic experience. An intense one, an experience lived here and shared that becomes even richer when spread and announced to groups of pilgrims. This experience helps to strengthen the faith in the incarnation in which God became man and dwelt among us. Therefore, to live in a certain time, in a certain place, that is the Holy Land.